time, join Dr. Ion on his daring marathon adventure, where he explores the fascinating world of energy. Watch as he learns about potential and kinetic energy, faces exhaustion, and triumphantly finishes the race with a little help from his friends. Don't miss out, join the excitement, and learn about the power of energy. Oh, hey everyone, it's a beautiful day out, and I'm about to run my first marathon ever. Okay, I am ready. Dr. Ion, are you sure this is such a good idea? A marathon is 26.2 miles. <gasps> yeah, and you haven't really been, like, training, have you? <laughs> training, training. I've been setting up the laws of energy all night, and that should give me all that I need to know to finish this race in record time. Here, I'll tell you everything I've learned as I run. Let's go. Welcome to Ryan's world. See? No problem. Right now, I'm using energy. And energy is the ability to do work. <laughs> Running is an example of using energy. But so is a ball rolling down a hill, an arrow flying from a bow, and even lightning flashing in the sky. That's true. And there are two types of energy, potential and kinetic. Potential energy is the energy that's stored in an object before it moves. Like when Dr. Ion was crouched at the beginning of the race. Precisely. Potential energy also exists in the arrow that's pulled taut by a bow or in the ball balanced at the top of a hill. So if potential energy is what an object has before it moves, then kinetic energy must be what it has while it's moving. Exactly. There's kinetic energy in a rocket launching into space, or a basketball flying through the air, or a Dr. Ion running along the street. <laughs> yeah. Better think again on that last one. Uh, okay. Go on. Too tired. How many miles do I have left? 26.1 miles. Oh. I can't do that. I don't have any energy. Wait, Dr. Ion, when was the last time you ate? Uh, breakfast yesterday? And I only had half a pastry. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> you haven't taken into account the law of conservation of energy. The what of what of what? Oh, I get it. If Dr. Ion wants the energy to run a race, he can't just create it out of nothing. He has to get it from somewhere, like food. Precisely. The energy found in food is called chemical energy. When you eat it, your body changes it into mechanical energy, or what you use to move. So, what should I do? Eat a big spaghetti dinner? Not unless you want a big tummy ache. <laughs> it's far too late for that. Fortunately, I've got a few ideas for how to make use of other types of energy to help you get across the finish line. Let's get eye on it! Um, so how is this supposed to work again? We're going to harness the power of elastic energy! Elastic energy is the energy that's built up whenever you stretch something! Right now, you've got a ton of potential energy! When we release this strap, it'll turn into kinetic energy! Hopefully, all the way across the finish line! It's worth a shot, I suppose. Fire away! Those bleachers weren't expensive. Okay. I believe the problem with the slingshot was that your mechanical energy was slowed down by gravitational energy. <sighs> Thank goodness for this helmet. But with these rocket boots, you should be good to go. These boots run on fuel, just like a car. Engines turn the chemical energy and fuel into mechanical energy to make the car go. Okay. Uh. Just give me one second to tie these laces. That's loser talk! The time is now! Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Haha, <laughs> it's working! Look at him go! Whoa! He's past the halfway point! And now three quarters! He's almost there! <laughs> I can't believe the rocket boots actually got you to the finish line! Sorry you finished dead last, though. Oh, it's okay. I would have surely been disqualified anyway for, you know, 
for mechanical assistance, but thank you so much for helping me get over the finish line. You helped me turn my potential energy into kinetic energy. You're welcome, Dr. Ion. Now, before your next race, maybe you could just, I don't know, train? Good idea. Hey, I say we all go consume energy in the form of ice cream. Hi guys, welcome to Exercise with Ryan. And we're gonna have 10 minutes of fun. So get up and let's start. Okay, I have my mom here, say hi. Hi. So first we're gonna warm up our body by doing 20 skips. One skip, two skip, three skip, four skip, five skip, six skip, seven skip, eight skip, nine skip, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woohoo! Now let's warm up our arm. Let's stretch to the side, count to twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Two. 